Did it feel like deja vu? It feels just <laughs> like deja vu. How far are we from the due date? What, like two weeks? Two weeks, and I'm 38 weeks. But like he's just like down there in pressure. This is honestly how I know something is up because when she's like this and doesn't move at all, it seriously means something is up. I just picked up the camera. I'm documenting it. Zoe is asleep. It is May 27th, Memorial Day, and she's feeling some pressure down there. So I just figured I'd pick up the camera just so we can get the upcoming days before the due date and the birth of our little boy. Yeah, it felt like it was just yesterday that I was recording this video for our daughter Zoya, and now I'm recording it for our baby boy. This time around, I'm not as worried. Like last time, I knew that we were gonna go to the hospital, but this time I'm I'm not really thinking about it. Okay, oh I was just gonna say this. It's giving you deja vu. <laughs> yes, this is giving me deja vu again. You coming out of the bathroom, everything is just giving me Stop deja me vu. Laugh. Oh, oh my gosh. Don't do that. Wait, I do like this in my legs. I feel so dry. You feel dry? All right, so put some bio oil. We'll keep you guys updated again. <laughs> Monique was putting on her robe and this is the new one she just got from where? Fashion Nova. Hey, Fashion Nova. Guess yeah. how much it costs, guys? $5. Five dollars. $5, I said five dollars. <laughs> Five dollars. Well, she's looking mighty cute in the five dollar. With some ashy legs, but we're gonna put some bio oil on that. Please. Look at you, look at you. Oh my god. It feels just like deja vu. <laughs> in the same location, everything feels the same. And guess what? We were doing something active midday. When oh, you yeah, remember oh, last no. time we went to the gym. I went to the gym. Yeah, but I told myself that I can't Yeah, she go. said I can't go. I, like, I felt weird that day. I was like, I can't go to the gym. And yeah. then I came home and that was a day that I was like I, I need to go to the hospital. Yep. And everything started around the same time. I'm going to say like five or something. Look, she's even making the same poses as before. Everything feels the same. Oh my gosh. But this time we're waiting it out longer. Oh, a thousand for sure. percent longer. When it's going to be serious, serious is when she says, we going to the hospital. But you look, you look like a hot mama. Oh, thanks. At least you look cute. <laughs> Time to go lay in bed. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to start this right now in case. Monique is in the shower spraying her down right now. Just a lot of this is This is what she said last time. About the water? Everything is they drop the water. Right well, while she's showering and everything, I'm just going to pack my bags and get everything ready. I don't know what's going to happen. I am never packed, so I'm going to pack a few clothes. Due date is June 10th. Today is May 27th. Don't know what it, if this if she's actually going into labor or feeling early signs of contractions or what it is. She's definitely uncomfortable right now. So and I also know what shoes I'm about to rock. Just stay tuned because I, I wore some threes. You no, know, I got some fire. I'm about to rock it. I don't know, man. This is crazy. But just keep it going, man. Let's keep it going. You feeling what the pain again? Oh, he's starting a timer. Yeah, I started it early. That was 13 minutes from when you said. You were hurt any earlier. 13 minutes? Yeah. Was that, did you feel it again when you were in the bathroom? Like a slight one, but nothing like crazy. I don't uh, know what it was. So we're gonna see. We're gonna see if these are contractions or just false alarm. But that position that she just had, it's the same exact position she had with Zoya. 851. 1051. 1051, all right. What time is it right now? 9.55. Look, in this video, she was feeling pain eight minutes apart from each other in the contractions. Right now it's five minutes. And her face is getting really, really serious. You all right, babe? Look, we could watch it. Look, look, this is how you was bent over moments ago. See? I remember that pain though. You remember that? Remember that pain. <laughs> this one was like that. I remember that one. That shit was crazy. But let me not talk to her. A few moments later. We think Monique is in labor. She told me to be quiet already. Her contraction started almost exactly at the same time. So right now I'm just gonna load the minivan. Zoya's gonna stay with our neighbors. Lucky for us that we have great neighbors and they're gonna watch Zoya for maybe a day. And then Monique's mom is gonna fly out here and watch Zoya for the rest of the time being. So right now I'm just gonna prep the van. 
Um, our son's seat is still in the box. So the same thing as last time. Put his seat inside of the car. Take Zoya's out for now because Monique's mom's gonna need it. This is my son's new car seat. About to install it. Ah, it's wild, it's wild, but yes, yeah, same time of the night as last time. Cannot make this up. We just dropped Zoya off to the neighbor's house. Monique is <laughs> bound to have another contraction, guys. Look, she's bent over. She wearing that Fashion Nova. She wearing that Fashion Nova, baby. You got this, mamas. You got this. Breathe. All right. It's almost done. All right, yeah, yep, yep, yep. Okay, okay. You got it? Okay. I feel so much better with these contractions. Like, I feel like I'm able to breathe through it. Okay. Like, I feel like... I was not prepared to breathe through it last time, and this time I am. Okay. All right. All right. We gotta we'll get go. a car before my next contraction, right. and they get too close. Right. What time is it? It's 11, 19. Yeah, let's, Come on. Go. let's do it. Oh. All right, baby boy. I know you're happy. You definitely feel lower. Yeah, you definitely right? feel lower. He dropped. I didn't put his car seat all the way, but we'll figure, we'll it, figure out. it out. All right. So we're on our way to the hospital. It is 11.22 p.m. <laughs> this is definitely a replay, guys. These bumps hurt her, like, a lot. So. Alright, so we got some ice chips for the... For the soon-to-be mommy of two. Mm -hmm. Bone appetite. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all, so we are in the room. Monique is halfway there. She's five centimeters dilated. She just got her epidural. She's feeling a little bit better. We're going to try to get some rest. It's already 2 o'clock in the morning. We got here around 11, around 12, right? Yeah, but she's definitely um, feeling tired. She's going to try to rest up right now. We're both going to try to rest up. Um, I'll give you guys a tour of the room later on. So Monique is currently seven centimeters dilated. It is 4.02 in the morning. Um, she does have a mask on uh, just to help her out because her contractions were coming in crazy, but now they've kind of chilled out a little bit. Mm -hmm. But long story short, we didn't get any rest. We maybe shut our eyes for like half a second before we woke up again. And the doctors come, keep coming in and out. How are you feeling, babe? I'm feeling way better. I'm really excited to meet the baby. Let me just give you guys a tour since I'm already up. Okay. I'm not sleeping. Like it's kind of hard to sleep, especially when you have a baby on the way. So yeah. it's kind of it's it it really is. Like I don't know where I find the energy, but I'm really not that tired right now. Okay. Dilated more than six centimeters. Yeah, which last time I wasn't like. You were stuck at six for a long time. For a long time. So I'm just hoping that it continues this way. Yeah, she got a big old medicine ball down here legs propped up but let me give you guys a tour of the master suite so right here we got the sink outside of the restroom you feel me so sink right here we got a little bit of petals right here no water hot water it's touchless you feel me let's step into the master bathroom we got a little bench i don't know if we're gonna shower in this thing or what over here we got all the we got the gaming pc right here checking the stocks this is when you buy, this is when you sell. Here we got all the fluids, the IVs for Monique. I'm being a little silly right now, but this is Monique's bed. It really don't look that comfortable, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> From a scale of one to 10, this look like a solid five. All right, but let, let's get real. Now this, y'all, this is my mattress. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Not have the shakes. <laughs> <laughs> you got the shakes. Mm -hmm. The trembles. Mm -hmm. Quick update. Um, it is 10.30. I said 10.30. I can't even talk right. It is 5.30 in the morning, guys. And the baby's almost here. She's at 10 centimeters, so she's almost ready to push here shortly. This is exciting. Oh, my gosh. I don't even know what to do. I'm excited. Yeah, I'm going to start pushing here soon. Oh. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. I'm excited to meet him. <laughs> You're excited to meet him? Me too. I am. I can't wait to see Zoya's little face seeing him. It's going to yeah. be so cute. 
I can't wait to see him. I can't wait to hold him. It's crazy. I yeah, can't so believe I'm 10 centimeters already. I know, right? It's so oh crazy. Yes. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to text mom and let her know. All right. So the baby's on his way. Um, just before we start pushing or anything, I got a few words to say. Um, I cannot wait to meet you, little man. This is so exciting. Um, I love you so much. You're going to be loved by everyone around you. I can't wait for you to see the crazy wild loving family that you have but i just want to let you know from the bottom of our heart your mommy and poppy love you so so much very very much we cannot wait for you to get here this is so exciting i still can't believe it we were literally just at the park hours ago and your mom was spinning around with zoya on this thing and she did mention there that she felt like a lot of pressure you definitely wanted to come out and play with us at the park but guess what you're almost here we can't wait to meet you yeah, we're so excited. I think it's, what time is it? It's 5.30. Oh yeah, your birthday. Oh my gosh. 5.30, oh my gosh. It's going to so be your birthday today. May, May 28th is going to be the birthday. That is crazy. <laughs> Pressure's coming, but. All right. All right, well, hopefully the next time I pick up this camera, he's here already. I know the doctor's on his way, on her way. Uh, people are going to be in here left and right, so let's do it. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm yeah. excited to meet him. Are <laughs> you excited to meet him? Me too. I am. So this is the first meal after pushing the baby out. We got a, a turkey sandwich. Honestly, it looks mid. It's definitely not eating. Good. Yeah, I'm not gonna eat it. I just want um, graham crackers. Right now she's eating graham crackers. She's gonna have applesauce, apple juice, and cranberry juice. Well, he literally said, all right, we're coming out. No plate. Yeah. We got here at midnight, and at six o'clock he already had Pushing was less than an hour. Pushing was less than an hour, literally. It was like, oh, practice, practice, practice. Doctor got here. You push two contractions, so you push six times. Mm. And she pulled him out. Mm. <sighs> Refreshing. Oh, that one was good. Bigger than Zoya. Alright, so Zoe's in the house yeah. with my mom. Our little man is asleep through all the noise. Mm. Mommy's finally eating her meal. Yes. Mm. Got some chicken wings. You're not eating chicken wings, but she's eating the noodles. A little pho. Some broth. This is what it's like to have a toddler. He's doing good. Mommy's doing good. Yes. Everything went very well. The plan is that hopefully tomorrow morning they will let us go home and then we can spend time at home with our babies. Super excited. We're super blessed. Thank you guys for following this journey, watching our videos. I know I don't get much views out there, but we love sharing this type of content. Yeah, we're really excited to be sharing our family journey with you guys. Like if you've been watching our channel, you would see us like go from just us two to us four now. So yeah, it's a big deal. Yeah. We're just glad that you guys are here. He's like, don't bother me, I'm sleeping. Buenos dias! Guess who's going home today? We are. Yeah! My hair is knotted and I have to go inside Zoe's bag to use her splitting comb because I didn't bring my own. And I didn't bring a hair tie so I didn't get to tie it. But oh. we're about to go home soon, so we're gonna get a, get a little pictures in before we leave the hospital because you know we gotta catch these memories of us inside the hospital, right? Look at those girls though.